This is New York City. This is what I expected. The whole sensory overload. The sounds, the smells, and the lights. They're just everywhere. Um, I guess I haven't been to Vegas, so I imagine this is what it's like. But just pan around. There's billboards everywhere. There's uh, lots of people, lots of people trying to make money. Everybody, we're at the Museum of Natural History, like you may know, on movies like Nine Museum or Nine Museum 2. Well, I'm standing here right next to Rexy, but I know you've seen Rexy, but I feel you haven't seen that big fella. It's a pretty big guy. And Tyrannosaurus. Pretty cool. Ah. Uh. Standing at the Rockefeller Center here in New York, Manhattan, uh, with looking down on Central Park. It's great to see a big chunk of greenery in this concrete jungle. Just made the trek across the subway uh, from New York, Manhattan. We're now uh, entered another state into New Jersey. Uh, we're playing at an institute tonight. Uh, the Magpies break up to play a local competition between themselves. Uh, I think Indy and I might be playing a father-son combination. Club started about 14, 15 years ago. Um, this was kind of pre-internet days, so it was really tough getting people together. But we had uh, a guy named Chucky, who's American, but fell in love with footy when he was a teenager and um, just started a club, starting going to some of the Australian events in New York. There's a lot of Australians obviously, a lot of everyone in New York and just kind of got a group together, um, started practicing, playing in like the mid 90s and then when the internet came upon us um, it was just easier to find people. New York is just expanding every season, you know, we've now got a ladies team. Just finished umpiring the senior game and now there's a rec footy game on. So rec footy is similar to Oz kick rules. Uh, you play with tags, so it's no tackling and there's zones. Uh, it's it's uh, men and women and tonight Indy's playing. So the ability for yourself to, to lend the experience that you have, those little pointers, the kind of things that you see that we just don't notice because we haven't played professionally and we're not, we're not as experienced around the game, it is great to have you in town for that kind of professional thing. Professional version is very fast. There's a lot of running and uh, the, the kicking and the goals and so forth. It's a, it's a lot of action. And uh, I'm actually a hockey guy myself. I spent a lot of time playing hockey. Um, and it kind of reminds me of hockey in many ways because you're, you know, you've got that speed element and there's the physical element, and, but there's a lot of finesse as well. Pretty clubs too, I mean, uh, it's just a lot of camaraderie and you really make a lot of bonds uh, on the field and off the field that, you know, stay with you for life. So that's, uh, that's what I love about it. My, uh, my old man just started playing. He's right, he's right over there and uh, he's, he's 50 years old. And he's, he saw how much I love playing and he saw much, how much uh, Jamie loved playing it that he said, I want to come down. And uh, he's been playing since uh, two weeks ago. He comes to practice and comes to the uh, uh, games that we have here in Hoboken. So, you know, anyone can do it. It's a great moment because as a parent, as a dad, he's almost an adult. I mean, he is an adult. He's 19. And for me to capture even a moment like this with him, I'll treasure this the rest of my life. Uh, beautiful. That's Love the it. truth. It's amazing to play a sport with my son. Um, as, you know, a mom, boys usually aren't too excited to be able to play any sport with their mothers. So uh, it's nice that he he kind of doesn't see it's a mom sport. He sees that it's a sport that we can play together and he's so excited to come out. I think it's, I, what I love about the game is that it's truly unlike any other sport that I've played, especially here in the U.S. Uh, I mean, I've played volleyball, basketball, and everything like that, but I've never really had the opportunity to play something like footy because it's such a multi-dimensional sport and it's 
just a new challenge. I just really love that it's not modified. You're playing the same game as the men are playing. I love the physicality of it. I also love that I'm a small person and can tackle really big people. But I guess the uh, best part of it is that I've made some of the best friends that I've ever had in my life playing. I was very fortunate to be selected for the U.S. Freedom Team. So we'll be traveling to Australia in August for the first ever Women's International Cup. So it's super exciting and, and definitely a huge honor. It means a, a great deal to me. I, I think that it's a great opportunity to represent the United States and to bring the goodwill of the sport and, and show everybody you know, what we're about and try and get more girls to come out and play. It's a new sport for women, so it's great to get the word out and know that there are other teams um, in other countries that are in the same position that we are. Yes, we're actually, we'll be selling our shirts that will uh, say, I'm rooting for the freedom. <laughs> so Friday night footy's finished here with the New York Magpies. Had a super night, wasn't quite the MCG. But you know what? Who cares? Uh, very much grassroots footy. Yeah, Michael. Uh, yeah, I get this in the, the US of A. Thanks, MJ.